All right, all right. I'm gonna share with you today a little secret, a little tip that's going to save some relationships that you might have otherwise accidentally nuked. Um, we all know this idea that your network is your net worth. We've heard this uh, so many times at this point. It's a cliche, we understand what it means. And so we wanna be out there actively network and building uh, our, our, our pool of connections. However, we need to be intentional about how we do this and that we don't do it the wrong way. The wrong way is whenever you meet somebody, you always wanna be looking, how can I add value to their life? And sometimes the way that you can add value is by simply making a connection to somebody else in your network, right? Oh, Jimmy would be the perfect person. I should connect you with him. He can help you solve this problem, right? Oh, Joanne, she's awesome. She can solve this thing for you. You guys should get together. You'd have a lot of synergies, right? So as we're in these conversations, meeting people, we always wanna be on the lookout. How can I add value to your life? But we need to be very, very careful that we aren't in the process of like making that connection and trying to add value to one person's life that we aren't inadvertently detracting the value from another person's. For instance, Jimmy and Joanna. The way that you do this, the way that you ruin relationships and really piss people off is you take that person, I'm sitting down with uh, Brian right now at lunch, let's say, Brian, you should talk to Jimmy, he can help solve all your problems. And next thing I know, I'm sending a text message, a three-way text message with Brian and Jimmy and myself. Hey, Jimmy, I just wanted to connect you here with Brian because I think you guys are both interesting. I think you can help each other. I think there's a lot of synergies. I'll let you guys take it from here. I have now made a connection from one of my you know, acquaintances to another one, perhaps even a friend. But I did not ask permission from one of those people, right? I didn't ask Jimmy, hey, is it okay if I connect you with this guy, Brian, over here? I just blindly made the connection and I, I now have put it into Jimmy's court to say, hey, you know what, I'm really busy right now, I'm not doing meetings, I'm not taking calls or whatever, like I appreciate it, but I can't take that right now. And instead, like you've, you've put the onus on him to say that rather than having reached out behind closed doors privately and said, hey, Jimmy, I got this guy I'd love for you to meet. I think he could add a lot of value. Are you cool if I make an introduction? That little um, side quest, just asking for permission in private before you connect people will save you relationships. And I know this because I have friends who, they do this constantly where they're like, hey, uh, Anthony, wanted to connect you here with Timmy, who's a big fan of your content and he would love to meet you. And I'm like, dude, there's a lot of people that are big fans of the content and would love to meet, but I'm not just do doing one-on-one -on -one, like phone calls with every single person because I only have so much time in the day and I'm, you know, I gotta focus and do the things that are actually gonna move my, my businesses forward or my life forward. And uh, if I wouldn't take the call, the meeting from some stranger coming up to me on the street and be like, hey, um, I'm a big fan of content, I'd love to get 15 minutes of your time, then I'm also not gonna do it for some stranger that you're just randomly connecting me with. Now the problem here, this is the reason why it can nuke some, some friendships is because that friend, you might feel an obligation to take that call. And I used to feel this way. I have a friend who does this all the time and I'd feel this obligation. Oh, he, he took the time and energy to make this connection. I should, I should do this for the sake of the friendship. And then I'd sit down with this person he connected me with and I'm like, I, there's, this is a waste of my time. There's no value here. There's obviously no synergies. You're an interesting person. That's, not, that's great. Love to get to know you in another life. But like this is not a call that either one of us needed to really take and what it does then is it degrades the relationship you have with the person who made the con the, the context um the the connection right because now they've, they they've diluted their brand in your mind as like oh when he connects me with people he connects me with good people that i should meet right now i'm like you just wasted my time and that's happened so many times at this point that i don't even respond to three-way connections anymore unless the person's asked me privately, hey, is it cool if I make the connection? I just don't even respond. I just leave the message. And that's an important thing for you to realize as you start growing your business is that you are not obligated to respond to people. Their, their response is for the, their, their declaration saying, I'd like a piece of your time, I'd like 15 minutes, or they send you a text message, an email, a DM. It can feel like this obligation to respond. And if we don't, then it makes us rude, right? But you need to ruthlessly guard your time from people who would otherwise waste it because they don't value it as highly as you do. And the truth is nobody will ever value your time as much as you do. So you need to be the gatekeeper of your attention. Just because some, somebody demands your attention or because they want your attention doesn't mean they deserve it or that you have to give it to them. You need to be the gatekeeper of your schedule because after all, if you don't own your schedule, your schedule owns you. So keep that in mind, give yourself permission to not respond to messages. Yes, it might hurt the relationship, but at the end of the day, you have to make prioritization, like hard choices around prioritizing the things that are actually gonna move you forward in life. 
And if that meeting, if that call isn't gonna do that, then it's just a waste. It's just a distraction. It's just procrastinating away from the things that you've declared are the most important in your life, the big goals that you really want to attain. So I hope this brings you guys a little bit of value. If it does, let me know uh, by sharing this. Take a picture, take a screenshot, and then share it on whatever social media platform you're on. If it's on Instagram, Twitter, tag me in it, and then I will reshare it. I promise I'll give you some love, and uh, that helps me a lot to know, hey, are you guys getting value out of this? And if so, we can lean more into one direction or a different type of direction, and it helps us triangulate what is actually bringing you the most value at the moment. So we'll see you guys in the next episode, but until then, stay hyper-focused, my friends.